little review tonight and a brand which hasn't been featured on the channel before um, a new brand to me and this is Urban Shepherd um, Urban Shepherd are a European make um, a small family run business in Portugal um, in Benedita um, and I found these after a recommendation from one of my viewers I said I should check them out um, I liked what I saw with their sort of certainly this model which is a country model it's got a couple of sort of throwbacks to what you might sort of recognize sort of Red Wings you've got the sort of the Vibram half soles of the Beckmans you've got the toe cap of the uh, Iron Rangers but they are very much their own boots so not trying to be Red Wings but there's just a few little things which immediately drew my eye to them but beyond their styling and uh, when we get into the details we'll, we'll see some really sort of high quality features one of the things which really really stood out for me um, was a price point um, these come in at 145 euros uh, that translates to about 130 uh, UK pounds and that puts them at less than half the price of what I'd say to be an equivalent uh, Red Wing model and that was just stunning uh, value proposition for me and really something I needed to check out so I've ordered these up um, had a little bit of a wait for these they are sort of made to order and also during August um, the factory shut down for their summer holidays I'm not sure if that's a, a Portugal thing or just something specific to uh, Urban Shepherd but they had some downtime so it took a little bit of a while for these to come through uh, but they came through a couple of weeks ago now and they, they look absolutely stunning um, just sort of throwing back to the point on the, the pricing, uh, I did put a little sneak peek of these on my Instagram. Uh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I'd love to build up my uh, followers there. I'll put a link below. Um, but someone said they look expensive. And they're completely right. They, they do uh, look like a much more expensive boot uh, than the price would suggest and they, they feel that way as well. So this is a, a calf skin uh, boot um, and we'll show you some close-ups of the uh, the texture of this leather. Initially I thought it was a, a sort of waxed rough out but it's actually a waxed leather, it's, it's not oily, it's very much waxed. Um, no sort of pull-up effect to it but it does have a really sort of wonderful texture, really interesting. I, I'm not quite sure if I've seen a leather like this before but uh, calfskin leather um, sourced locally to the factory in Portugal you've got a full leather sole with a leather heel stack uh, Goodyear welt throughout so resolable um, sewn and uh, nailed construction really really nice um, quadruple stitched triple stitched on the toe cap fantastic uh, design really and uh, great value so just before we get into the the close-ups one thing I'll just sort of uh, reflect on is is sizing um, if you follow my channel you'll know that I, I tend to end up going true to size so I'm a UK 8 um, I, I take that in Red Wings I take that in Doc Martin boots if, if those are a couple of points of reference for you um, on these I've gone for a 42 which is a, a UK 8 as well and um, I do think they come in a little bit shorter than, than most other boots. I think they're fine for me and the, the toe box is uh, quite generous. So whilst it's a, maybe a little bit less in the, uh, in the front there for my toes to wiggle around, the, the contour of the toe means that they're not pinched together and I think they'll probably break in just fine. But if you're sort of between sizes, I'd be saying maybe you'd be thinking about, uh, you certainly wouldn't, wouldn't be uh, sizing down, you might actually size up on these. Um, I'd like to hear your opinions. If you've had uh, Urban Shepherd boots yourself, I'd be really interested to know what you thought about the fit because it is probably a shorter boot, as I say, than I, I quite expected. Uh, but I think those will be just fine. So I think probably what we'll do is we'll dive in for a few close ups and we'll look at how these are put together. Just coming in for some close ups just to see how these boots are put together. As I say, the texture of the leather is really sort of interesting. I'm just trying to pick that up where you can see the slight sort of uh, textured surface. It definitely isn't rough out. Um, I'm not quite sure how they finish this leather, but it does look really, really nice. Um, apparently it does darken quite a lot over the use. Um, and one of the 
options they provide, uh, which is something quite unique, is uh, what they call aged by fire, um, where they sort of almost toast uh, the boot with a with a torch, uh, with a flame, and uh, darken the leather sort of artificially. And the thinking behind that is that uh, it replicates the the darkening of a shepherd's boot when he's been historically sort of drying it in the uh, in his shepherd's hut over the log fire, um, and that's something quite important to the brand. Actually, you know, this is uh, a brand that stems from uh, work boots of agricultural workers in in Portugal, particularly shepherds. Uh, so that's something in their sort of DNA. Um, the aged by fire option, I think, is probably over 100 euros actually. So that's quite a sort of uh, interesting way to increase the price, uh, given their their starting point so affordable. Um, but I didn't go for that. I prefer a, a, a tan, and as I say, a really nice leather, super super waxy, very nicely put together. So there's a triple stitch on the toe there, and throughout they've used their signature uh, red stitch, which is very much uh, part of their their branding, got quadruple stitching on the edge here. Not quite sure what that is actually called. Obviously the triple stitch I think is referred to as a, a Puritan stitch, but quadruple not quite sure. And it's backed up by a little rivet on the end there. Again, not a, a typical feature, but very nice stitching. On the heel cap, you've got a double stitch, and this is a nice uh, leather constructed heel counter. On the back stay you've got a double stitch and inside we'll, we'll show you the other boot in a minute but it's leather lined. The soles are what really drew my eyes to this particular model. It is a, a very robust feeling uh, leather construction sole. Nice stacked heel with the, uh, the half sole on the bottom there. And as I said, uh, nice nailed construction. A few nails on the toe just giving it a little bit of extra reinforcement and the stitch throughout as well. Obviously a Goodyear welt, so recraftable. Um, and I suspect with this you'd just be peeling off the half soles. I've not had boots like this before, so I don't know for sure. But yeah, really nicely put together. Um, under here you've got a very nice traditional uh, construction. So you've got hand laid uh, cork. Uh, midsole, steel shank, always like a, a bit of structure to the boot, so it's a steel shank underneath there and on the inside you've got a, uh, a leather footbed and a nice little uh, padded leather insole. So we'll take a look at that now. Just taking a, a look inside the boots now, nicely leather lining throughout. One interesting thing is how they've uh, cut the uh, leather lining there around the heel counter so you're not uh, going to be wearing out that leather lining and then you've got a rough out heel counter which will just be a little bit helpful to to stop your your foot slopping around in there. The tongue has only got small bellows on it at the front there so uh, a little bit of utility on that keeping the dust and water out of your boots um, but yeah super super nice construction. On the sole here on the insole you've got a let's pull this out a padded uh, insole. Get that out. So, fairly basic uh, single density insole, but nice little bit of padding, leather on the top, and on the inside, you've got a uh, a fiberboard uh, footbed with a few nails there uh, holding the the heel structure together. A really really nice construction throughout on these. I will just quickly correct myself there. The uh, the footbed there wasn't uh, fiberboard. It is actually a nice piece of leather. There's a little stamp in there if you can see the that. End of the review. Um, of course these will be put to good use. So if you haven't seen my channel before, I always like to uh, actually wear the boots and do a few follow up reviews just so you can fully understand what you're what you're buying and I can share my thoughts as time goes on. Because sometimes your initial feelings towards a boot. Uh, changes over time and I'll post a, a, a post breaking review and um, probably something at 6 or 12 months just so you can see how these last in uh, in the longer term. If you haven't seen my channel before please check it out. Uh, lots and lots of boots, uh, Japanese denim, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Do check it out. 
as I say, I'd love it if you could follow me on Instagram. Uh, love it if, if you subscribe to this, um, this channel. Of course, if you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you've had these boots, share your thoughts below, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.